What is up, people? Fire here from AwesomeDudes.com, and you thought I was not gonna be back. You're thought I'm just gonna post my gameplays. No. My main focus from now on is gonna be game development. This game that you see right here that I called Dark Cave is or was a project that was supposed to be for a website that contacted me to create that project for them so that they will sell them, but, or sell it, but I still figured now I'm gonna just release it on YouTube. So this is for you guys. The game is called Dark Cave. It's a small 2D platformer. Enjoy it. You have the assets in the description below. Also, I wanted to talk about that you can go here on my website. You can download free assets by clicking here. Just go on awesometudes.com. Click here, download free asset. It is gonna take you right here. Enter your email and bam, just like that, magic happens. You'll receive another email from me with the link to the free assets. So enjoy the course and also one huge announcement that I have is that from now on or I am gonna start working and creating and posting 3D tutorials. And of course they are best quality as I believe that everything that I posted regarding game development and app development is the best quality on YouTube. I'm not gonna say on the internet because my courses are better quality but still this is the best quality that you will find on YouTube. I mean, nobody covers MVC, model view controllers. Nobody covers good coding practices. Nobody covers how you can actually separate your code from the player or the code that controls the player, from the code that controls the UI, so on and so forth. Nobody does that. Nobody goes into this high detail to just create tutorials like how to jump in Unity, how to make a player collect an collectible item. No. I create whole projects, whole games that you can scale on and create your further projects. Now I want, don't want to stall any further, so yeah, enjoy this tutorial and I will see you in my next 3D tutorial series. Now that we have covered the basics of C Sharp, let us dive into our project. I am gonna remove our tester class because we don't need it anymore, so I'm simply gonna delete it. And before we import our assets, which are these here that are provided to you so that you can use them, we are going to organize our project. And this is really important. So during your development, it is really important that you organize your project that you know at any point or any given point where your scripts are, where your assets are, where your animations are, or otherwise you will get lost. So first I'm going to right click and create a new folder, which I'm going to call scenes. And a scene in Unity is this, what you see here. Notice this rectangle, this is the camera, and everything that we put in the scene is gonna represent our game. So we are gonna put player here, we are gonna put our obstacles, we are gonna put collectible items, everything that our game is gonna have, we are gonna put it here inside of the scene. And we need to save those scenes. So here I'm gonna create the scenes folder, and in order to save the scene, if you're on a Mac, you're gonna hold command and press S in on Windows, control and press S, and this is gonna pop up. Or you can simply go here under file and then save scene, and now you can get you can save the scene in assets and then scenes, and I'm gonna call this one gameplay. So simply gameplay, and I'm gonna hit save, and now this is our scene. Next, I am gonna create a new folder, which I'm gonna call sprites. So sprites. And inside of this folder, I am gonna simply drag all of these assets. So I'm gonna select all of them except for this Mr. Sunshine, which is a font that we're gonna use. So everything else, you're gonna select it and drag and drop it right here in our sprites folder. And I'm gonna go outside and create another folder, which is gonna be our fonts. And inside of this folder, I am going to drag and drop Mr. Sunshine. And here we go. So now going back in our sprites folder, I am going to select every single one of our images. And notice here in the inspector panel, let me just close the tab for the services because we don't need it. Notice here for the, or in the inspector panel, when we select an image, we have here a couple of options that we can do. So we have the texture type, we have the sprite mode, we have here the default, which you can see this is actually the compression of the image. So I'm gonna select all of our images and here I'm gonna say override for PC, Mac and Linux. And let me just take a look at the images once again. Let me just hit apply whatever I did. So notice the size of these images. 
So notice it's 1284 by 264, 1920, so on and so forth. So we are going to select all of them and here we are going to select the max size to be well, 2048 and here I'm going to say true color and I'm going to uncheck generate map maps and I'm going to hit apply. You can do the same thing for Android so you can say override for Android, true color and also uncheck generate map maps and we are going to hit apply. So if you're wondering what this is, well this is the compression of your image in your game the quality of the image in your game. Now, depending what you choose here, the image will take more memory in your game, but it will have more quality or it will look better. But if you choose poor compression, like compressed or crunched or 16 bits, it is gonna look poorly, but it's gonna take less memory. And notice here in the bottom right corner where I'm currently hovering with my mouse, it says 1.6 megabytes. Don't be confused that this is the memory size of the image. No, this 1.6 megabytes represents the size in the graphics memory that this image will take. So the down one will take 5.9, this one will take 6.9, this one 5.9, 1.3, so on and so forth. So overall, our game is not going to take 20 megabytes in the game. And when I say 20 megabytes, it's of graphics memory, not the storage memory. And this is it for now. So I like to dedicate a special video or a separate video only to import the assets and organize the project because I cannot stress enough how important that is. If you don't organize yourself, not only in game development, but in every other project, be that app for Android or iOS or for desktop or anything else, if you do not organize yourself, you are gonna hit your head hard over the wall and then you're gonna cry. So make sure that you organize everything in folders, even in subfolders if you need to organize it. But yeah, cannot stress enough, organize your files.